Hey everyone, Mark here, welcome to my channel. So today's video, we're going to talk about a book that I think warrants a review, uh, a little bit of a thorough review, not too long, however, but uh, most of what I do is vinyl reviews. I show you some of the CD, some of the FTD stuff, and every once in a while I'll do a book review. And the book that I'm talking about in particular came out, I wanna say, I don't remember the exact day, or date, I should say, what year. This is Elvis Vegas 69. The inside of the book actually gives more of a longer title. That's the inside. It's a book by Ken Sharp, who I really don't know very much about him, but it says, Elvis Vegas 69, the story of the King's return to the concert stage. And it's about 200, 202 pages. Um, I looked all over in the front, in the forward, in the back, um, table of contents, everywhere to see a date of when it was released. I want to say it was right around 2009, maybe 2010. It was first available. I think I got my first copy. And I say first copy, I'll tell you the backstory. I bought it when it first came out. Um, actually, I got it as a gift, I believe, from my wife for my birthday. And I went through this phase probably around 2012, 2013. Uh, and I think it was because we moved into this house. We we lived uh, in Maryland, moved here in 2012. And I think I was unloading a lot of stuff, and I wasn't into collecting anything. All of us, no vinyl, no CDs, anything. I did have some books. I had a few CDs here and there. I had no vinyl whatsoever because I didn't have a turntable, and vinyl wasn't where it is today. So uh, when I was going through, I thought I could probably get a, a pretty good price for it because at the time, it was not available anymore. So I sold it. And it was one of those things where, yeah, I, I wasn't into the collecting quite as heavy and, you know, um, fired up about it as I am now. So it didn't bother me too bad. And then a little bit later, I was like, man, that was a really great book. But, you know, you, you move into a new house, you got to get rid of, uh, downsize, get rid of a few things. So uh, about probably around 2017 or 18, I was on either Shop Elvis or the Graceland store, and what pops up for sale, I don't know if they repressed them, I don't know if they found some uh, a box somewhere in storage, but this became available and I jumped on it. And I can't remember what the price of it was. I want to say it was maybe $60 and then 7 or 8 bucks for shipping, but I could be way, way off on that. And you can still find this on the secondary market. So I don't know if it was a reprinting, a second printing, third printing, what, but but let's get into the book itself. I don't want to bore you with all the other information. So there's the inside, but, and I'm not going to go page by page. I find these very hard to do, these kind of reviews, and I don't like putting them on the floor. So, uh, but this says the cast, these are all their musicians, and Steve Bender's name is in here. It says anybody who had anything to do with Elvis returning to stage. I thought this was cool. The Elvis 69, the International Presents Elvis, August 1969, in person. So that was the copy of the, of the posters and advertisements that were going on. So it talks a little bit about his movie career. And I found this interesting. Uh, it starts with Hollywood Heartbreak is the title. It says, by the late 60s, Elvis's career was on life support. He was stuck in a soulless rut, <laughs> forced to endure an endless treadmill of formula-laden movies none of which captured the acting promise Elvis displayed in such seminal films as Jaws Rock and King Creole. Seemingly relegated to being a prop in his own films, his frustration increased due to the lousy scripts and inane songs like Old MacDonald, Yoga Is As Yoga Does, and Dominic, a song about a bull. If his career were to survive, something had to change and quick. And then there's a, I won't get into this deeply, but there's a quote by Elvis where he said, it was work, it was a job, I had to be there at a certain time in the morning and work a certain amount of hours, and that's exactly how I treated it. I was more concerned that the picture was any good or I was any good. I cared so much until I became physically ill. I would become violently ill. I'd get a temperature. At a certain stage, I had no say so in the script, so I couldn't say this was not good for me. I didn't have final approval of the script, which means I couldn't say this was not good for me. Um, I won't go on. It, it, there's, There's like two or three paragraphs where he goes on. But that just shows you the impact and the um, kind of the overpowering uh, effect of Colonel Parker 
kind of dictating to Elvis the roles he was going to take and the songs he was going to sing. So all, uh, Colonel Parker just had, had too much control, in my opinion. So yeah, you hear Elvis himself saying it was making him physically ill, making these wretched movies. And, and honestly, I don't think that they were as bad as what this says. Um, but I understand that Elvis felt like he was. He was a prop in his own films. That's a great way to put it. So and there's some pictures of some of the movies. I think that's a great shot of them. That was right before the 68 special. Um, talks about the, the resurrection of the 68 comeback special. Has some pictures of that. And, you know, different quotes. Steve Bender um, talks about the little bit about the singer presents Elvis, which that's all it was called was Elvis. It wasn't called the 68 special, the comeback special. It was Singer Presents Elvis. There was, talks about December 3rd, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, NBC TV in color. So just a lot of quotes. That's a great picture. It's one of my favorite pictures of him. The photography in this book is second to none. It is absolutely fantastic. Here's some cool pictures of him. Him in, in action on the special. So yeah, and then here it talks about, it's the backstory, it talks all about the Hilton when it was built, because it was a brand new building in 1969. Construction uh, was, was done, uh, started early in 1969, I believe. International Hotel owner Kirk, Kirk Cork, Corian, there's a picture of it still under construction. I apologize, hopefully you all can see this pretty well. Two new hotels to open in Vegas in July. Talks all about the Hilton there, an advertisement for it. International cuisine and a core of uh, fascinating restaurants. Here is Elvis signing the contract. Actually, it was done at a different time earlier, so as for a photo op, he, he did it then too. And Elvis would sign a lucrative deal with the International Hotel, which would pay him a then unprecedented fee of $125,000 per week. On a July 31st, 1969, Elvis would perform his first live show in eight years since taking part in two 1961 charity performances in Memphis and Honolulu. Um, then there's the marquee with his name on it. But actually, uh, Barbara Streisand was the first to open. I, I believe they wanted Elvis, but Barbara Streisand kind of, you know, that's who ended up opening. But there's all kinds of uh, quotes from several people. It's a great read. There's so much great information in here. You got uh, quotes from Ronnie Tutt, Jerry Schilling, James Burton, you know, people in his band, Sonny West, who was in the Memphis Mafia. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's other names. Of course, there's the, the Sweet Inspirations, who I was with Elvis pretty much from the start, as far as his comeback. Gordon Stoker, who was with the Jordanaires. Myrna Smith from the Sweet Inspirations. Estelle Brown. Sissy Houston. Marty Lacker. Like, there's just so, so much information in a book with only 200 pages. And if you can get your hands on this, I highly, highly recommend it. Great information, but again, uh, just great, great stuff. Look at that shot. That's him. And I love these these early suits. I wouldn't even call them jumpsuits. I'd call them stage suits. They weren't jumpsuits yet. They did have the scarf, but they were simplistic. And I think that's what I like so much about these. There's a Elvis now through August, as I say, 28th. So they used a 68 photo because obviously they didn't have him on stage yet. So I kind of move along, and I want to take that make this video too too long. Um, talks about him when he was in Vegas, where he was not received so warmly, back in 1956. In person, Elvis Presley, Elvis in front of the New Frontier Hotel, 1956. There's him on the grounds, right before, and there's opening night. July 31st, 1969. Just some great, great photos. There's him in the black. So we had two variants, a couple variances, the white and then the black version. I think I prefer the black.
black a little bit more, and then there's both that you see. There is the cover of the FTD Hot August Night album. There's him in action. That's a cool shot. Just great, great stuff. I think this is on the cover of the 11 CD box set. I actually do not have that. I've gone back and forth. Most people I've talked to had it said, save your money. FTD released a majority of them. Very, very cool shot. Shot, a lot of shots that I have never seen before. You've all probably seen this one before. It's one that I've seen a lot. Just a ton of great pictures through and through. That one is also a cover of an FTD CD that I have. There's like him in the same pose, but in a white suit. There's a little bit different one. I never noticed that one. There's one like a, the a variants of the black one, but it's got like a kind of like a belt that hangs down below. Elvis having some fun on stage. So yeah, I don't wanna I wanna leave some uh you know you uh for you all to, to see what what is contained in this book without me showing you everything so you kind of get a little bit of a pleasure in reading it. And then there's a, an after show, I believe, after the press conference with his dad Vernon. All kinds of photos with that. Of course, he was with a lot of celebrities that went and saw him that first night. They call it the post, what do they call that? Victory, the post-show celebration. Talk of the town. Elvis's return to the stage was big news around the world, generating massive press co coverage among the international media. It has some different uh, newspaper clippings. Talks about... The four-week hotel run, how many he drew, 101,500. So I'll close it with that. Uh, there's him with Frank and Nancy Sinatra. I think that's Fred Astaire right there. Just a great book. Uh, like I said, it's got about, um, let's see, 200, 205. It's got like 207 pages. And there's a there's a cool shot with him ending the show. And there's the back. So just a, a great book all around. I can't say enough nice things about this. Like I said, it's not real thick. He like said two about 206, 207 pages. Um, you can probably get this on the uh, open market on eBay. Check it out. You can even check um, Shop Grayson. I thought. As recently as like in the last year that I remember seeing it and being surprised it was still available after all this time. So like I said, around 2009, 2010, this came out. And that's just from memory because like I said, everywhere I looked, I could not find a publication date on this. But um, just wanted to do this review. It took a little longer than I thought, but I hope you enjoyed it. And I uh, do thank all of those who have recently subscribed, left comments. I always like to give you all a shout out. Um, uh, feeling the love and I'll give it right back to you. So, um, hope you're enjoying the view. Um, I need to use a blower, my, my, uh, leaf blower and get those. That's just been within the last day or so, because as you can see, the leaves are changing. So I got to need to get out there and get that taken care of, uh, with it. Tomorrow's my day off. So, um, uh, get that done. But, uh, thank you again for, uh, tuning in and watching. Stay safe. We'll see you soon. Take care.